my question is are you more against hypocrisy or against religion and spiritualism well as i have made my position very clear that uh, i don't have any religious beliefs and uh, i have said it many times so uh, but this is not the point of discussion at the moment uh, but i am not willing to accept anything anything under the sun even at my own loss which uh, sounds irrational sir my question is to his holiness in the recent south india episode teenagers are feeling uncomfortable and confused what message as parents should we give them that this happened at the passing shower and not to take it too seriously the recent episode in south india how would you go to explain this uh, in 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 the notion of the traditional notion of uh, karma of causality that so many million people uh, suffered simultaneously and at the same time uh, if there is this god what was he doing uh, you know i'm not a lawyer for god to speak that what he did is right or wrong but instead of wondering why this happened i we started what we can do to get people out of this traumatic experience you know natural calamities are common it has been happening in the world in one part or other everywhere in the world so instead of uh, just questioning the nature i feel it's better we plunge into action and give solace and comfort to people who are suffering and that's exactly what we did uh, you know javed bhai has made this, um, this sort of plea for the yardstick of rationality is there a rational explanation that we can offer uh, that is spiritual and transcendental in some ways or is this just mechanical fortunately we were never anti rational in this country otherwise many saints many people would have been crucified or sent to sentence to death in this country that has never happened here we were never anti spiritual and anti rational or anti scientific this this idea that science and spirituality are against each other is erroneous notion i would say they go together very much together thank you sir i have two questions one to Shri Shri Swami Ji and one to Javed Ji. So you mentioned about Gandhi Ji and how true it was that Gandhi Ji to me seemed to be one of the biggest spiritual person we know of in the present age. He was not fighting the British. He was trying to transform them. And it demonstrated in his life when somebody shot at him, he pardoned him. He did not curse him. Correct. Now I don't know whether your spirituality is aiming at that. That is one question. Absolutely. तो जावेद जी मैं आपका कितना शुक्रिया अदा करूं बहुत अच्छा बोले आप आपकी रूह से एक तड़प निकल रही है हाँ कहीं ना कहीं कुछ रूहानी मामला है देर इज ए सर्च फॉर रूह रूहानी मामला लग रहा है साहब देखिए मामूली लोगों की रूह नहीं होती है सर आप तो बहुत बड़े आदमी हैं कहीं ना कहीं देर इज ए यर्निंग टू नो मोर एंड आई फाइंड दैट यू नो वेन द मार्क्सिस देर इज ए डॉग माई एवरीवेयर in his spirituality there is a dogma in marxism there is a dogma yeah. so you also live by a dogma and and the somebody else is living by a dogma there is no problem because in the world of globalization if it is selling let it sell <laughs> what is wonderful about it that it is not a question <laughs> no no the question is very clear i see a yearning do you feel कि कहीं रूहानी तड़प है आप में सूफी की तड़प है रूहों की तड़प है कहीं ऐसा लगता है कि आपको क्योंकि वो तड़प आपकी बचपन से है you have suffered so much in life you have struggled so much i find that this struggle is manifesting all the time I in your words it is proved beyond any doubt that whatever consciousness you have lies in your brain and nowhere else the moment your body gets disconnected with the brain you have no talap left <laughs> is there a consciousness beyond the brain i think um, you need to go into the quantum consciousness quantum knowledge about consciousness the consciousness is present all over the body not just in the brain and 
There are three states we know, waking, dreaming, sleeping. The fourth state of consciousness can be mechanically proved by electroencyclograph. Is there a consciousness beyond the body and the brain? I think is the implicit question. Consciousness finds expression in the body. To say it is not there or it is there, it needs a proof. So all that you can say, maybe, perhaps. Uh, one each for both the speakers. Uh, firstly, I'm unlike Mr. Akhtar, I'm a theist and I believe in God, but a small doubt. Uh, Sri Sri Devi Sankarji said that out of some 2,50,000 odd uh, priests, maybe 10 or 15 are hawks, or it's the other way around, or somewhere in the middle. You know, there is a saying, you can't fool all the people all the time. You can't fool people I, because either they are fools already, or it needs a lot of intelligence to fool people. So I wouldn't think that, um, I wouldn't go with that mistrust in people and trying to find out whether they are all genuine or not. What I would say is, See the action of people, like Gadve Maharaj in Maharashtra is doing so much, had done so much work, like that different places people are doing good things, people are getting benefit out of it, but it has to go on an individual search, you know, whether this particular uh, person is doing the right thing or not is an individual case. You can't generalize and eternalize these, these aspects. One for Mr. Akhtar. See, cinema and spirituality both are fastest growing industries and the logic is very, reason is very simple because as Mittal, Mr. Mittal's factories produce more and more with less and less manpower, all of us have a lot more free time to fill in. So I'll just borrow a phrase from Mr. Bachchan's speech yesterday and say that should we not go to both the industries with our innocence in, uncorrupted? As a matter of fact, you are only confirming what I have already said. The only difference between us is that after three hours, we say the end, go back to the reality, they don't. But next week, again, there's another show. Yeah? Next Friday, there's another show, I'm saying. Yeah, sure. Come for our next parivachan. <laughs> I have a question for Sri Sri Ravi Shankarji. Um, why is it that uh, with most of the prominent spiritual gurus, the well-known ones, uh, including, I think, yourself, the inner circle or inner coterie invariably ends up consisting of the beautiful people, the rich models, actors, actresses, and so on. One thing, that I can talk, speak for myself. There is no such inner circle sort of thing with us, with me. And I have access to all the people. If you see from the villages to the elite in the city, why should we keep the elite out? Why we are so against elite people or the rich and the famous in the society? They do need... You see so many people in the film industries are committing suicide. You know, so many people. And this, when it helps them, why... I don't feel a reason that to keep people just because they are rich to keep them away. And there is no need, no reason to keep them because they are rich. In fact, you know, it's the poor people who have more heart, who have more, uh, you know, the need and they, they are willing to do practices regularly. The rich would do it only for a couple of days and they may stop doing their practices. Spirituality is all about teaching people practices which they can help, by which they can help themselves. No? Uh, time's running out. Uh, Swami Agnivesh has had his uh, hand for a, a long while, and yeah. then uh, Mrs. Jain and we'll wind up. Thank you, Rajiv. Uh, first of all, I would like to congratulate India today, this conclave, for treating us to very rich feast. At least this feast is not a hoax. We really enjoyed each one of us. Uh, my question is to Guruji. See, what I understand by spirituality is cultivating the spirit, the values of truth, love, compassion, and justice. Uh, and standing up for these values whenever you find an attack on these values. As you rightly said, sir, in the beginning, that religious fanaticism is something which is totally opposed to spirituality. 
Now, whenever in our country, in this glorious country, we find the rise of religious fanaticism, why is it that spiritual leaders are conspicuous by their silence? For example, when the VHP was out on a rampage after this uh, uh, demolition of Babri Mosque, and religion was being trampled upon, spiritual values were, were being trampled upon, why didn't you come out and expose them? Why didn't you come out and walk on the streets of Gujarat when Gujarat was burning and humanity was being massacred uh, there? So this is my humble question, you know. Unless and yeah, until we Yeah, I would like answer to answer that. I'm sorry yeah. that uh, the, uh, you have not been aware that I was going to Gujarat. I have been many trips. I went to many of the camps. We have done trauma relief ca programs in Shah Alam camp and many other camps in Gujarat. I'm not after publicity, I don't go for every trip, I go everywhere and take a photographer or a newspaper man to come and expose those things. We quietly do our job. In spite of that quietness, if it gets exposed into the media, that's just another thing, you know. I have, we have been working in Gujarat and we have rehabilitated even after earthquake and also after the rats. We have done this job and many of our volunteers have been put on the job to bring people together. Sorry, Mrs. Jain, the final question. Yes, uh, Javed Bhai, highly spiritual life live karne ke baad, mein roz subay filmi gaane aapke sunti hoon. Aur usi mein shayad aap bhool gaye ki aap kab kahaan kya lik jate hain jo aapke andar se aata hai. Ki tumhare pyaar mein मैं जिस्म से रूह की तरफ आने लगा हूँ। I like to mention in our satsangs we also include some of the film songs of जावेद अख्तर। मैं इतने वक्त उतना ही मीन कर रहा था जितने आमतौर से गुरु करते हैं।